Across Indian cities, women regularly hold protests demanding safety in public spaces. But what about sexism and misogyny online and the army of trolls that threaten women? It is with this in mind that Tarun Katyal and Aparna Acharekar are launching a virtual platform exclusively for women through their company Eve World. This platform is called Koto and we spoke to CEO and founder Tarun Katyal and co-founder Aparna Acharekar to know more. Why was there a need for a women all women social media account and uh, why do you think it's uh how is how is that different from perhaps an all women's club you know what i mean it's an all women's club who, who in delhi we know that there are so many in bangalore there are so many how is that different from a social media space a safe space as you've called it a safe space is uh, needed and anupriya because uh, this is this is not just a pressing need that all of us have as women but there's enough data to prove that you know simply in india alone over 58% women have said that they have faced online harassment or abuse right and we can send you some resources that you can uh, refer to what happens in that sense is that it creates a form of self censorship right if you have say put out a nice picture and then you get maybe trolled for that or you get you remarks for that or you get you know just unwanted people following you and sending you dms and things like that that really does not leave uh, you feeling very good and great about it right and which is really why a uh, a private space a safe space which eventually means a free space of expression for you right is something that's really uh, required there is enough data to prove also that this has resulted also in some sort of a gender divide where you know men actually outnumber women on uh, social media so truly for for the internet as such to become really inclusive empowering we it, it's imperative for women to have safe spaces empowered spaces where they can very freely express themselves right um in in traditional social media what we've often seen is that there, there have been creators there have been communities but really no interactions happening right no intimate interaction no intimate conversations happening so creators influencers put out content and followers subscribers consume content at the most what really happens is there's a comment or two that goes you know that goes with a post that goes with the video and things like that but really no sense of interaction happen communities is really where interaction happens where individuals talk to each other learn from each other and that's its empower uh, clearly why you know for to to foster a sense of uh coming together to foster a sense of empowerment for everyone right communities is really where this can happen you, know, you feel safe in a community you feel empowered in a community you feel that there are peers as well as those who can guide you into taking a lot of life decisions or you know even it could even be smaller things like okay you may be a young mother and you want some uh, you want some quick guidance with respect to your child taking care of your child and not just an expert but a lot of peers can also help you with that right which typically cannot happen on a regular social media platforms so for a lot of these use cases communities and private safe therefore free spaces for women is what we thought was really the need of the hour and uh, aren't we isolating women like this i know you have addressed this question but i still wasn't honestly con- uh, convinced with the fact that uh, how are we not including men who are the ones who need to change rather than women who need to isolate themselves separately and uh you know expect that other women are going to be kind to them who unfortunately are from the same patriarchal umbrella right like it's not just men who troll us it's also women who troll us i yeah. agree with you isolation is not uh, the solution to something like this right uh, the objective is to be able to make sure that you have a place that you can bond and and have conversations that you feel comfortable about right there are a lot of conversations around women's sexual health around women's uh, yeah. mental health around women and their grooming around women and uh, parenting that they like to have with women one on one right 
a young yeah. girl discussing premarital sex or uh, a woman discussing workplace harassment or somebody yeah. discussing pcos right yeah. they are not most com- most comfortable in the presence of uh, of a male dominated or a male overbearing platform right today instagram yeah, is an yeah. open platform which allows both men and women to participate equally right but unfortunately instagram yeah. is not a place where a, where a woman will go discuss menopause right or yeah, where yeah. somebody would go discuss uh, you know other issues which are like really intimate to you. yeah and also yeah. um on, at not at all times do you really want to go to a specialist to solve these problems right you can definitely learn from each other's experiences so we are, we are not saying that isolation is is anything we want to do we really want to create a space where you can bond where you can communicate with each other and you find it very convenient and and almost intimate to be with people of of your ilk or of your choice right um the way we built the platform is a a community platform it is not a classic social platform so it actually solves for a lot of the women to women or women to men harassment issues where every community is moderated by a community creator uh and the community creator okay. has the option or the choice almost like a whatsapp admin has a choice or an option yeah. to be able to scan content or to be able to um uh, ban you know people who indulge in issues or usage of you know abuse and so on and so forth or to yeah. be able to warn them so we are also what we are really creating is a platform where administration monitoring moderation is all in the hands of women themselves and and they can choose to live right. their life the way they want to and more importantly be able to help each other in a true genuine manner right so are you okay with the fact that uh, i understand that okay so i'll just put it this way so if i want if i'm a woman if i want to join your platform uh would i be vetted or would i uh, can i just uh, post where i work and automatically that will be assumed that i'm probably a person who can engage and add value to your community you don't need to be vetted all you do is you enter the platform through facial recognition so we know that you're a woman right but after that you're not okay. vetted at all in whichever community you think you want to participate um you can also go incognito from the very beginning you can decide that i don't want to be discovered on the platform at all or you can decide that i'm happy to to be discovered completely i i i can yeah. choose to post in any form of fashion i don't if i'm on a live webinar with somebody and i don't want to know i don't want to be known that i am asking this question i can also choose yeah. to withhold my identity so we are very high on allowing you all the kind of privacy controls that you feel comfortable with okay and uh, you know with social media we all know that social media was initially created for a better cause like twitter was created for a better cause i'm not sure about meta but like you know it's it's more about communication and it's more about freedom of expression so we also know that with it comes uh, the issues of mis and disinformation and uh, since you're saying that your community creator would be uh, more or less this admin person who will vet the content and people who are in the community so how are you going to uh, are you okay with the fact that this one person will come with their own biases and so they might we've also built for that Uh, so if i'm a community creator and uh, i was to be able to ban you as a community member because i my views yeah. don't agree with yours then you have the choice to move your appeal to a a platform wise moderation panel which is built by many other community creators who come together to moderate the platform in uh, at a at a broader level so there is uh, your choice to go and appeal further also as as a community creator myself i may uh, may put out posts that are uh, that are abusive or that are wrong and so yeah. i can also be flagged to the platform moderation panel the platform moderation panel is also people who put their hand up among the community creators and are are vetted to be become the platform moderation you know set of people who moderate the platform together 
and uh, so that no, is also no. not us but it's also again people who have co-opted themselves into this process and uh, what were the what were the main things while you were creating this product what were your uh, you know top five aspects that you thought that we need to make this watertight what were these aspects that you wanted to keep watertight that there was no two ways that this is going to exist in your platform and build more trust among the users so women community both open and closed community privacy uh your ability to be self moderated and lastly allowing for a lot of real monetization tools on the platform it was also important yeah. that all of this does not end up in just you know an exercise in in sharing content or sharing stuff but in eventually building entrepreneurship amongst women so we want to make sure that we have both product commerce and service commerce opportunities for women on the platform and your ability to be able to monetize your services or your products or your goods or your or merchandise should be easy and effective and lastly a participative ownership so the entire platform mm-hmm. is built on web3 principles we have a gov- we have a plan for a governance token and a accrual token which will be shared with the community at large and so uh, all early community creators on the platform will almost become like shareholders in the company through the governance token through the accrual token and will continue to reap the benefits of the growth of the platform alongside us all right and how are you going to facilitate the commerce aspect of the uh, platform because is it going to be the same way that facebook does like you know we have these groups where women come together uh, and advertise their uh, products and that's when they realize how is it going to work the so marketplace so the first set is service commerce within service commerce we have paid communities we have one on one consults we have live paid webinars we have co- co- courses we have premium content all of this can be paid put behind paid wall amongst uh, in the community by the community creator then comes product commerce where you have the choice to be able to merchandise your own products uh, or you have the ability to be able to sell for other uh, brands on the platform uh, where you are giving referral links and um, you are advocating for other brands and their communities on the platform so there is your services your products or your ability to be able to refer other products which is around social commerce so if i want to if i want to market something that i am bringing on the table right so if i have a product and i want to market it in your platform will will my product be vetted or do, would would i have to prove it to someone that my product is worth going out there no it, uh, it's not our choice to be able to decide whether your product will go out but you will have to get verified by doing kyc because you will also become part of the uh, of the checkout journey and we will have to you know your platform checkout will happen and you will obviously have a dashboard to be able to see your revenue and so on and so forth so to facilitate the regulatory and compliance thing you will be vetted but not for your products your products are your choice right and what was the inspiration behind making such individual self help groups or via social media like i know that people on the ground level do it a lot but what made you believe that this is a good product for possibly a generation amount of i mean i had some personal um, experiences with my wife getting trolled even on whatsapp uh, but the amount of you know uh, women entrepreneurs who look for a good funnel and good opportunity at one side on the monetization side and the, and like aparna said the amount of uh, you know online trolling and abuse that women go through on open platforms those is a combination where give them a place to express themselves to bond and connect with each other but also to be able to monetize okay. So uh, uh how is are you guys on android and in on every other platform We're going to be right on now? android and on ios both Okay and when is this going to take place when are you officially so The first going? build launches this end of this month and then in the end of this month and end of june 
literally every week the enhancement happen and the entire final product comes out right and uh, what are your targets how many women do you want to bring together in the first go what is what is the first we vision to, we obviously want to get millions of women uh, <laughs> to come on to yeah. the platform but right india is a large country and so you can't do anything in less than millions as targets but i don't want to set myself and aparna up at this stage by giving out numbers <laughs> and then get measured against that uh, but uh, you know it suffices to say that our last platform that all of us created z5 was has 75 to 100 million users so we used to scale 